Alright, so we are in Indomart, uh, trying to get some uh, snacks here. Kochi. We got the Kochi's, one of them right here. Someone asked for. Right here. Gonna get this one here. Rebo Kochi. Oh, sesame seeds, or not sesame seeds, sunflower seeds. Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and try the salted caramel flavor one right here. So what else are we going to get here? Uh, somebody said do a kalinchi, which is regular peanuts. Uh, got this. The... Yeah, this is Balwong. So yeah, we'll try this out. Let's keep on looking around here. What do we have? We have over here. We have all the uh, diabetes snacks. You, know, you can get diabetes from this stuff right here. Let's see. No, no I'm not eating this. Which one are we going to get? The mini Oreos. We have mocha Oreos right here. Let's try this out. I love Oreos, so you know how that goes. And remember, we we'll tried something in cheek cream. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is, I, I actually requested two the Keju cake. I'm gonna get one. We'll get another one. Right there, Keju cake. Here's an Oreo soft cake. Looks like a little brownie. We'll try this one. All right, so now let's move on over to the chip section. Put it right here. All these diapers and formula and stuff. Coffees. You guys want to check out the variety of coffees they have here. Different types of coffees they got up in here. All the drinks here. We have you know Tifuchuk and all that. Here we go. Let's see here. Let's see. Here we go. That's what they would ask. I'll get a bigger pack of this. The 2,000 french fries right here. 2,000 french fries right here. I'll get this. I'll get this one. The Enoch Snack e Mi. It's, uh, Mi is noodle in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. So this is just a, snack, a packet of snack noodles. Go down, let's keep looking. Looking here. Kusuka cassava chips. Somebody mentioned this. Wanted me to try these. So we're gonna get these. Here's the alright, Kutella Tempe chips. We'll try these out. Looks like it's gonna be seaweed flavor, which I love seaweed, so to put that in there. Oh yeah, here we go. And <laughs> my friend, flaming spicy madness, black ghost pepper chips. I'm really gonna hate life after this. See that look? You got the Scofield levels on there. One million Scoville. One million Scoville level for this. That's insane. I'm really gonna hate this. I'm not, I'm gonna love it, but my body's not gonna like it. So we're all here.
Here is some white tea milk. Te puti. Sterile karma. Karma is dates. This is a date drink. Date milk drink, I should say. Of course, dates can't really can't give milk. We have uh, C1000, which is all, all the vitamin C stuff. Coconut water up here. Green tea. It's that like green tea. Ah, herbal lemon. Try this out. Say Puchuk, some uh, what I love to drink. Now to find some avocado coffee. Here is Bintang zero percent lemon flavor beer. This is this, the, this is lemon flavor. This is black currant and lime. And this is the original flavor. This is the original flavor here. Look at this. All right. So that we are going to do. Let's see, I've had, I've had this one before. Eclair latte. I'm looking for avocado. Avocado chocolate. Do they have it? Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. We have it. We have found our avocado chocolates. Avocado delight coffee. We got this. So we're good. Around. It's a pound in bread right there. And I think that will be it for the snacks. I can't think. Alright, so here we go. We found some Yupi little gummies. So I guess we'll try those. Right here. Tumbling candy. So we're going to go ahead and try this one. Everybody's being safe. Wear a mask. A thousand layer cake right there. Some, some popcorn here, some popcorn here. So me, we're here. Uh, we're getting all this done, getting what you guys requested. So now, after this, we're gonna I'm gonna go head back to the house, spread it all out on the table, and we're gonna try each one by one. So let's go ahead and go to the counter now, pay for this, head home, and try this out. Peace. All right, so this all fit on my bike. Everything in the bag here. We got some tissue, we put it under the seat here. Let's get to rolling. Mike doesn't want to start. Good. Driving around. Ah, party. The best sate in this, this part of uh, the area. People selling stuff. Oh, that's new. Mobile tea. It's in my compound. All right, to the left over here is the masjid. You can go to. Oh, up, speed bump. There's an archery area over there in the, in the empty field. So we're doing archery. Next Gotta go for the Olympics, I guess. Driving the circle. Here's our little traffic circle. 
We need to take the punks walking. That is driving, driving, driving. You see the kids picking some stuff. Uh, gotta watch out for them. Flying kites, gotta watch out your neck. You might get choked or something. Be kind of crazy. Just driving alone. Hello, so morning. All right, guys. Today we are going to try the snacks that you recommended for me in my uh, Instagram uh, poll. Let's uh, go and kick it off first. Hit me up with the first snack. All right, we have the Kusuka Krepek Singkong cassava chips here. This was recommended. Uh, so let's try it. Let's see what's in here. Cause we get the cassava chips and everything. Open it up. There we go. Easy to open up like this. Here's the cassava chips here. Smell good. Mmm, salty, sweet, starchy. And you definitely have a seaweed flavor and this one is, is uh, seaweed flavored. So yeah, it's not the seaweed flavor isn't overpowering. Very good. Mmm. Definitely a snack you can enjoy. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so now we have the Enox Snack Mini, or Me Snack Me Mini. It is a Mini Me Noodle right here. Uh, me going. It's uh, we're just gonna try it out. It's like ready to eat instant noodles, like Indomie. What it looks like here. Ready? Try it out. Mmm. It's sweet, savory, like eating a bag of ramen noodles. It was like very, very good, very, very good. It's really good. I'll finish this one off. Kind of messy. Very good. Very good for on the go. All right. We got next snack. Next. All right, we have uh, 2,000 french fries. No, it's not 2,000 in here. It doesn't feel like that. That's just the name of it. There we go. Let's see. Hopefully some sandball in there. Right. This is what it looks like right here. Kind of bland. That's what the sandball is here. So I guess you're supposed to put a sandball in and shake it up and, and maybe I can just open it up like a packet of ketchup, like, you know, ready to eat barbecue sauce or something and dip my french fries in there. Mm. Mm. Spicy! Dip it in. There it is. Sweet. The symbol is kind of sweet. I thought it would be a little more spicy. But, there's a bag of it in. The symbol's in. Dip the fry in there. See the symbol? Not a whole lot of symbol in there. Hmm. Not really spicy. The more sweet the spicy, I guess it's more for kids to eat or people who aren't into spice or spicy foods, I should say. This is more for them. They want cake, but they don't want the, the extreme heat that comes with a lot of uh, foods. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, now we have the Kachang Ras. We have the Kachang Rasa Bawang. These are peanuts. Do a kalinchi. This was actually requested. Uh, bawang. I bought one going. Right. So open these up. There we go. Open them up. And these are just whole peanuts right here. Right here, spread them on the table, crack it open. Well, the peanut wants to fly over the place. Hmm, just regular peanuts. Hmm, there's a little bit of a, a garlicky flavor to it, but 
not just regular peanuts. Hmm, not bad. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. All right, moving on to the next one. <clears throat> all right, Cutella Tempeh. Cutella Tempeh, this is requested. I, this is also a seaweed flavor one as well. Let's see the seaweed there. Got one here inside the bag. All right, let's try it out. Mmm. Okay, that's interesting. I've never had tempeh with seaweed before. I'm gonna tell you, never again. That does not taste good at all. Oh my goodness, that is not a good combination. Tempeh and seaweed, no. Moving on, I can't. I like traditional tempeh. Uh, this mixture, don't experiment with something that doesn't work, that, that works good. Don't, don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Next. And we have Kwachi Rebo. Salted caramel, sunflower seeds. Hmm, interesting. Sunflower seeds here. Hmm, interesting. There's a way to eat sunflower seeds. I used to do all the time when I was playing baseball growing up. Stick in your mouth. Pop it open. Get the seed out. Right there, the little seed. Hmm. Sweet. Not for me. Maybe somebody. You know, I'm used to my my sunflower seeds being salty, and that's the attraction of them. Salty, keep you occupied. That's too sweet for me. For sunflower seeds. That's too sweet. Maybe some people like it. Not me. Not a fan of it. Uh, maybe the original would be better because, uh, you know, regular sunflower seeds be salty. Uh, but this one, the salted caramel, yeah, it's not, not my thing. All right, we have tamarind candy. Tamarind candy here. All right, let's open it up. See what it looks like. Uh, package candy. Comes in packaging here. Right here, open it up. Out the candy. Pretty dark. Mm. Wow. Kind of like a sucking on a cough drop. Mm. Interesting taste though. Kind of. I'm not gonna say that there's no menthol taste to it when I mean that a cough drop, but. Someone just gave it to me. I think it was like for some medicine. Was it? It's good. I like it. It's good. Kind of sour. Not really sweet. <clears throat> it's more sour than it is sweet. Mm -hmm. you know, sour, salty, kind of ish. You know. mm -hmm. Maybe we'll suck on this. I think it's good. Maybe we're gonna have some more later. La hala wa la kuwati la bila. Ghost Pepper time. One million Scoville. My life officially sucks. Last time I was in the attic. The hottest wing challenge yet, but the Ghost Peppers in there. Wow. Those things are charcoal black. Charcoal black. Look at this. It smells like a regular chip. Okay. <laughs> yep, that is. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's not like over spicy, but it's got a kick to it. It's got a kick to it. I can only eat like three or four of these and then I'm probably gonna eat something. Alright, so like I think like the more you eat, the spicier it's just gonna get. It's not gonna get any better, <laughs> that's for sure. Nope. That got hotter. 
I'm already sniffing them. None of why it's black. It's the death. They call it death right here. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh. Ugh. <coughs> All right, so now we have some uh, Nestle white tea milk. Definitely a good follow-up for the um for the ghost pepper chips there. Oh my goodness. This thing does not want to open for me. There we go. Ah, here we go. Mmm. It's almost got like a a soy milk flavor taste to it, but it's not. But it's really good. It definitely helps with uh, cooling down after eating that, those ghost pepper chips. I think I'm gonna finish this. Ah, whew. Ah, this is good though. This is really good. Um, I like it. White tea. White tea is actually healthy for you. Yeah. All right, next. Oh, wow. Oreo, my favorite brand of cookies. Oreo soft cake. I'm getting the bread and stuff now. Don't oh, combat that. <laughs> the ghost peppers. I can still taste the ghost peppers. Ah, it's just like a brownie, like a fudgy brownie right here. Fudgy brownie. Mmm, okay, man. Soft, chewy. It's a, basically like a brownie. Just comes, you know, all is really, really chewy. Oh, good. Almost like a moon pie. That's what reminds me of a moon pie. Now we have the Keju Cheesecake. Keju Cheesecake here. This is requested as well. Cheese and cake are good things to eat after you get through eating something spicy to follow up with. Right, opening this up. Ooh. It's like, uh... A cornbread type of uh, texture here with it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Fluffy. Light. I could follow up with them ghost peppers. Yeah, I'm still on the ghost peppers, but. Not good. It's really good. Not a heavy, it's not a heavy snack at all. It's light, fluffy. Not really sweet, savory, cheesy. That's a good snack. Uh oh. Now we have mocha Oreos. Mocha flavored Oreos. Here we go. Open it up. Got the Oreos here. Pull out a couple here for you. Mm, itty bitty mini Oreos. Hmm, the coffee is strong in that one. The mocha flavor is really strong in that. That's what the inside looks like. If you look at the inside, you would think it's just regular chocolate, but it's not. Smelling it, definitely smelling the mocha there. Mm, that's uber sweet. Yeah, that's a really sweet snack. All right. Yuppie little stars. Yuppie little stars here. Uh, say your wishes to little star and see magic happens. Each piece of cute little star brings sweetness to your mood. Okay, that's a cute message. For the kid. Which is, I can't believe an adult actually recommended this to me. He did not want to open for me. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this um, sugar-coated green one. It, it's like maybe a green apple. Let me see if it's sour. Mm. A little sour, sugary, and gummy, definitely. Oh, oh, it's another one. Oh, wow. Oh, you get sugar high off these. Well, they're good if you're kids. It's really good. Kids will love these. But too many of these give me diabetes, I think. Do you be little stars here? Ah, Tuju Kerma. 
This is a date drink. Date milk. Susu Stero Karma. Date. I like dates. I like milk. So let's see if they go together. Mmm. That's unique. You can taste both the dates and the milk. It's kind of a, a, a pretty good blended uh, mix there. Uh, neither one overpower the other. It's a really good, really good drink. I have to get, buy some more. This is good. It's not really sweet. I mean, it's sweet, but there's not too much sweetness to it. You know, it's not really like you know too overpowering for you. Now that you need the sugar taste of it, because dates are a healthy thing anyway for you. It's actually refreshing. That's a refreshing drink. I definitely, I can definitely dig this one right here. All right. Oh, good day, avocado coffee. Now, one of my favorite coffees that I used to get at Jayco was chocolate avocado coffee. So this is the closest I can get avocado delight coffee. Mix up a little bit because I love avocados and I love coffee. Mm. Mm. Uh, the coffee is really, really, it's a light coffee. It's not like, it's not strong. It's not bitter. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's definitely avocado in there, milk. So they made, they made the coffee on the, on the lighter side, not the stronger side of it. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Here, more here. Yeah. Um, it's not strong. It's not a strong enough coffee that I'm used to drinking, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good if you need to get a, a, a quick pick me up uh, on a hot day or just something refreshing, relaxing to help you. That's light. This is definitely a go-to. Right here. All right. This is a Sensicools International Herbal Lemon Drink. So this is a Chinese drink, Adam Sari. Uh, herbal lemon drink, vitamin C. Let's try it out. When I first saw it, it looked kind of like green tea to me, but you know, taste test will say it. Whoa, mm. that's lemony right there. That's, that's a definitely a lot of vitamin C in it right there. A lot of lemon. It's good. It's good. I mean, you know, it's one of those drinks that if you you know need something refreshing. On a hot day, this is a go-to. It's a healthy. You can definitely tell it's a healthy drink, right here. Take another swallow. Mm, it's an interesting taste. And what we have here, we have Bintang, zero percent alcohol, one hundred percent halal. Bintang beer. Let's dig in. We used to have, I think, Heineken like this, and when I was in Afghanistan. Mm. has a fizzy fruity taste to it yeah it's definitely not like beer beer you know it's kind of like a I don't know, there's something missing in it I guess it must be the alcohol that's missing it makes it taste different it's not bitter it's fruity you know it has a sweetness to it so it's uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, starting off with the Enak uh, snack menu here, I give it five out of five stars. We have the cassava kusuka cassava chip seaweed flavor. I give it four out of five stars. We have the. 2,000 french fries. I give this one about 3 out of 5. We have the tempeh seaweed. 1 out of 5. Uh, the kachang raza bawang. I give this one 3 out of 5. The tamarind, I will give this one four out of five. 
Uh, starting with the, uh, the Benton drink here, I give it four out of five. The Good Day Coffee, I would give that four out of five. The Oreo Soft Cake, I give this as an Oreo lover, five out of five. The Keiju Cake, I give this one five out of five. The White Tea Milk, I give this one five out of five. The Yuppies. Yuppie gummies here, I give them about a three out of five. The date milk, the date milk here, I give this one five out of five. The herbal lemon drink here, I give this one four out of five for, you know, it's the flavor it is. Oreo Mocha, I give this one four out of five. Just a little too sweet for me. We did the sunflower seeds here, um, salted caramel. Rebo, uh, sunflower seeds, three out of five. I would prefer it be salty instead of salted caramel. And last but not least, the Mr. Potato Ghost Pepper. One out of five. Because it is insanely spicy. And these are the snacks I tried, 17 all together. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Whew. That is a lot of stuff I tried.